This is the Dayton House Myrtle Beach. So there's several different buildings. There's the main office right there. And a couple buildings over there. The Suites building over there that we stayed in. This is the breakfast area that you would go to. So this is where we were able to park and the deck that is connected to the Suites building. And it's really easy just to walk right to the room. So I'm assuming in a busier time, it might be harder to get these spots. But all we have to do is walk up the stairs. The elevators are here in case you park on a different level. And the room was right there. There's more parking on the other side of the street and an overflow parking lot over there as well. This is the Dayton House Myrtle Beach in the Suites Tower Room 462. So this is an oceanfront suite. So in the front room here, this is a two queen bed bedroom with TV. This is an older hotel, but they've done a lot of renovations to make it nicer. So walking out here, you have a kitchen and it looks like they have remodeled the entire kitchen with new appliances. And let's check out the bathroom. So decent bathroom and it looks like a fairly new bathtub, which is awesome. And then out here is the living area with a little table. There's Biggs, hey, and a couch. And then up here is a pullout bed. And we're actually thinking of sleeping on the pullout bed instead of one of those two beds near the door. Just because we have this beautiful ocean view out here. So why sleep so far away from it? So this is the balcony. And it's a really beautiful view from here. Look at the ocean, you guys. It's kind of chilly here. It's in the 50s and it's windy, but still really pretty. And this is a little lazy river here. So this place is nice. It's not the most glamorous hotel that you'll ever stay in, but it's family friendly and very affordable. We actually got this suite for, I think it was 70 a night plus the resort fees, which is really good. This is the map of the area. So all the streets nearby and the attractions. And this is the map of the property and they circled where our building was, the suites building, compared to the office, and this is where the breakfast area is. So here's a list of different spots on the map and amenities. Parking, restroom, sauna, Wi-Fi, fitness center, yellow umbrella snack bar, laundry, hot tub, indoor pool, conference room, kids pool, sandbox, front desk, automated teller, lazy river, indoor outdoor pool, vending, business center, guest computer, swings. So you get these little yellow bracelets to wear whenever you're using any of the amenities. So we're just going to check out some of the amenities. So this is one of the pool areas.
and a little hot tub over here and there's a lot of lawn chairs and umbrellas seating and swings different areas to just come hang out and look at the ocean there's a lot of different walking paths as well and access to the beach of course so there's actually another pool over there and then this was our tower over here we'll go take a look at that in a minute So let's go check out the beach. So it's March, so it's kind of chilly and windy, but it's really not that bad. I would not get in the water right now because it's a little too cold for that, but it's never too cold to enjoy the beauty. And I have to take my shoes off to walk in the sand, get grounded, get that good energy flowing through my body. Look at the cool pretty bird. I saw some dolphins out here yesterday, but I didn't get that on film. So here is the hotel. There's a couple of different towers. And as you can see, there's lots of different resorts down the sand and the other way as well. So when we first pulled up to the Dayton house, we were kind of disappointed. It looked a little bit more run down than the photos online, but, but that seems to be the trend with some of these Myrtle Beach resorts. So this is just to give you a better idea of what we saw when we pulled up. The run down, rusted look. So we're walking towards the building that we stayed in right now, and... There's some more lawn chairs and umbrellas and stuff. And another walking bridge over there. Here's a little area with a turtle and a swing and some more seating areas. So overall, we thought this was a decent place to stay. It's very family friendly and affordable. Would we stay here again? No, probably not. All right guys, that's all for this review. Thank you so much for watching.